In this video, we're gonna discuss how to make meditation easy so that you don't have to worry about doing it right or wrong, the stresses of, man, is this, is this way better than that way? It doesn't matter about that. All I want you to focus on is doing a meditation practice that allows you to quiet your mind, that allows you to alleviate some of that stress, some of that anxiety, some of that worry. I was listening to Ralph Smart the other day, and he was saying that he meditated today, but he didn't gain anything from it. What he said was, I lost something. I lost that anxiety. I lost that worry. I lost the aches and pains, the stresses of the day. See, that's what it's about. We all just want to be happy. We want to feel good about ourselves. No one really wants to be stressed out all the time. So what we have to do is eliminate these negative and nasty thoughts about ourselves. And that's what I want you to think about. Think about your mind as the sky. There's cloudy days when there's no sunshine coming through. But that's why you need to meditate because every cloud is a thought. You remove one. Okay, now we got a little light shining through. You remove another. Now we got a little more shining through. You keep removing them until it's a sunny day and we're feeling good. The light's shining. That's what it's about. That's how we become a better version. That's what's gonna have a proper impact on our life so that we can concentrate and focus on what's truly important and ignore all the daily stresses that are out of our control. Think about the universe when there's a cloudy day, we all get all pissed off because it's rainy. Is that in our control? Why are we letting that infiltrate our interior? So you're going to have some of these cloudy days, but the discipline of meditation is going to help you remove some of the stresses. It's not about going out floating in la la land. That's not what meditation is. It's to help you respond to life instead of react. It's to help us be clear on our mission, on our goals, and have the self-confidence to go after them. So about seven or eight years ago is when I really wanted to try to get into meditation. Because I knew there was something that I just need, man, I needed to chill out. Why am I always frustrated? Why am I pissed off? So I downloaded the Headspace app. I did that for a while. It was pretty good. I was never consistent with it. For, enough, for like three years, I wasn't consistent with my meditations. And this is when I got this course, Ziva Meditation. It was good. I learned some new things, some new techniques. But I realized there's no right or wrong way to meditation. All it, all it is is about quieting your mind. You can go for a walk and do this. Just leave your phone at home. Focus on the noise. Focus on the scenery. And another thing is to schedule it out. Is it gonna be in the morning? Is it gonna be in the afternoon? Or in the evening? It doesn't matter the time as long as it works for you. And don't tell me you're too busy, you can't fit it in. I know you're scrolling on your phone. You can do this sitting in your car. You're not too busy, your mind is too busy. So it's even more important for you to sit down and just be with yourself. Because look, those thoughts are gonna pop in while you're sitting there. What's going on today? What do I have to do? Oh man, I forgot to let the dogs out. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do that, pap that paper. But, but guess what? If it pops up when you're not in a calm state, when you're on the move, it's gonna cause your heart to race and heart to pound. But if you're sitting here and that's when it pops up, guess what? You can kinda let it go, it's okay. Even if you can only do it for two minutes at first, that's fine. You're scheduling it out. So I want you to have a goal for this meditation. Is it because you wanna be more creative? Is it because you are stressed out often and you wanna alleviate some of that? You do wanna lower your blood pressure? Do you want to focus on your goals? What is it that you're doing this for? I'm not having you do this to go floating in la la land, I said that earlier. We're just trying to chill out a little bit. Now I need you to realize the benefits of it. I've talked about a lot already, but it increases neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to rewire its functions, to adapt, to learn, to recover. I'm no scientist, but this sounds really good to me. By putting yourself in this relaxed state, you're increasing the blood flow to your brain. More oxygenation to your brain nourishes it. An increased ability to learn new skills. So if I wanna learn something new, it's gonna be easier if I'm doing this meditation because I'm more relaxed. I'm in, I'm in more of a flow state. I'm getting rid of those clouds so that the, the sun can shine through. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed 
on the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now I'm going to give you the meditation that you can do for the next 30 days. Commit to 30 days for me. Comment down below that you're going to commit to 30 days. You're going to schedule a time. Pick a time of the day that you want to do this, and you're going to set a timer for 5 to 10 minutes. Now, all you're going to do is focus on your breath. The first five breaths are big inhales, filling up your belly like a balloon expanding. Fill it up all the way up and then just let it out. Five breaths like that. And then all you're doing is focusing on your in and out breath. As the breath goes in, you, you literally say in in your head. Then you say out as it goes out. Now, the monkey mind is going to be popping up. All these different thoughts might pop up. You bring it back to the breath. It's all good. That's supposed to happen. Don't think you're doing it all wrong. This is a muscle. This is an exercise. You don't just go to the gym and start doing 100 reps. You might start with two minutes. You might have to get up. That's okay. All I care about is you're sitting down, doing the exercise. If you make it two minutes, you make it two minutes. If you make it to 10 minutes, great. There's still days where I don't make it to 10 minutes. It's all good. There's going to be days like this. Download the Headspace app, the Calm app. There's many apps out there for meditation. You can use those. I don't mind. I started with a little guided meditation as well. You can do that too. Just make sure you meditate selfishly for unselfishness. Dedicate this time to yourself so that you're unselfish. Because listen, when we're standing in front of somebody and we're talking to them but our minds on all these other things that we have to do today, or the places that we need to go. That's selfish. We're not actually listening to the person in front of us. We're focused everywhere else. So don't you think it's okay to ignore the text messages, to ignore the emails for a little bit, so that you can focus on you? Ralph Waldo Emerson said, nothing can bring you peace but yourself. It starts within you. It's time to go get it. It's time to be the lion. It's time to achieve that success that we've always wanted. You have the full potential. It is within you. Go out and get it. You have to be disciplined. You have to clear the sky. Let the sun shine through. Remember, I'm just here to ignite your passion. Be you and be different. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe right now because it's one love always. Peace.